latest gadget uh, is a Chorus Apex watch. Hello YouTubers, meaning through this week, our growing things, uh, I'll quickly get on with that, uh, you might be interested in, going to uh, sort of health type of stuff. It's kind of related to running. A little bit of a video, not much, because I was filming with my iPhone, uh, my niece's soccer game, it was a good game, probably a better camera, but I got a bit of the game and a bit of the coverage and that was good, it was a good, good hard game. Uh, so today is the 15th of August and uh, hopefully the, the Wellington Half Marathon is still on, on the 30th of August, but uh, we come out of lockdown level 2 and 26 I think they said so whether it's on we don't know but so far just just carrying on like it's uh, it is going to be on so not too much of a problem really as long as you get the runs in but uh, yeah so just going over the runs I've had so far on here uh, Monday there I've been my usual 15k run uh, just under hour 30 there and uh, on to Tuesday did a little bike ride 15k bike ride uh, the last three weeks before this, I did three 120k weeks in a row. So uh, this week is sort of bringing the, uh, the mileage back in the running, about to 80k's. Just trying to, you know, uh, change it around and get the training going. Hopefully the higher mileage pay off somewhere along the way. So there's Tuesday, a bit of a bike ride, and then we got on to Wednesday, back up doing the the course again um, on the Wednesday doing the run hour 32 uh, that's nearly 16 k's there's that one there and then uh, on the Thursday and um, it was really raining and wet the whole night before so it was a bit of a bit of a waste time it took me about a half an hour longer than usual on there I usually get back on about an hour and a half on that run but it was so muddy and going up to the steep parts uh, slipping and sliding, getting off on the off and on the bike, and and uh, I noticed a little bit of a niggly pain in the calf muscle later because of the just the cold, the wet, and the uh, kind of coming off the bike a little bit, but uh, nothing too bad. Uh, that night, there was the leg was a bit sore, so I opened up my usual beetroot juices and carrot juice, and the and a bit of foam rolling, and it came right the next day, all good. So uh, and then on uh, Friday, went for a little. Uh, 10k run at an easy pace and uh, I used to do the, the longer run on the f on Friday but I uh, got changed around a bit here and there but uh, and then on uh, Saturday today there's my run there uh, I did 30k's and I changed it around a bit because it was an ice cold morning and I thought uh, I slept in got up a bit, bit uh, later and had a proper breakfast about 8 o'clock full breakfast with porridge toast and um, tea and all that and uh, so I went up about what was it, half past 10, yeah, half past 10, 11, and that was uh, made a big difference because I haven't really done that that way before, but a uh, hell of a difference. Uh, it was supposed to be an easy run, I got a bit carried away, just turned into a tempo run, got back here about 20 minutes faster than I usually do. But to get on here was a project I've been doing, trying to make my own watercress, and I'll just show you a little bit how I've been doing it there. And the last part of the video is my niece. She had a game. This was last week now, so I'm a bit slow putting it together. And she had another game. She had another game that she won uh, last Sunday. And uh, but the Sunday before that, I watched that game. And uh, pretty good teams. Pretty good teams. Most of the team, most of the players in the other team were federation players. So she did a good job there. So you got a game of soccer today, Izzy? You got your gears ready and your electrolyte drink at the start. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, and uh, what have you been doing for training recently? You've been running on the treadmill for 5Ks. It's awesome training. And uh, any, any, uh, you got a lot of games left this season or? We reversed every team three times, so we reversed them all twice. So we've got one more game against every team. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. <coughs> I'll come, I'll come down today. I'm only filming from the cell phone, so I'll try and get a bit of footage, and we'll see if we can get going on there. Okay, cheers. Oh Hit it! Go Izzy, you're doing good, you're doing good. Get it back, get it back. Taylor, 
for watercress, $10 container from uh, Mitre 10 with a lid on it, cut some holes around and the watercress sit in there and that's all done. Don't even need a, don't even need a drill, just a knife. Yep, so my project is, I'm giving, uh, giving it a go at growing my own watercress. And uh, so far it's very easy to do, but uh, because my brother's growing it up in Whangai and he's just got loads of watercress coming on all the time. Um, just the, the quick uh, ingredients is, is peat, 70% um, peat, peat is a block of type of peat there, and 30% uh, of perlite, and mix it up in the bucket. And I mixed up in a little bucket on these little pots there. And uh, in the water, the water you add this uh, nutrients there. That's a good one there. It's got all the nutrients. Um, five milliliters per liter of water. And what happens is this is just a ten dollar container from Kmart. But uh, what happens is uh, you fill the water just up to you fill the water up just up to. So that's the water with the nutrients there just to the bottom of those little buckets just so it's touching because the peat soaks most of the it all up so it's just uh experimental stage at this stage but according to what i've researched that's an easy way of growing a watercress and i'll let you know how that goes uh, in a few weeks so that's the mix. So that's it. The, the weather today, the weather, the whole week has been awesome weather this whole week. We're lucky to have this sort of weather. And uh, let us know how you're going in different parts of the world, or how your training's going. So that's good. Thanks for watching. And uh, now, uh, there it is daily usage, eight days left. Um, maximum daily use left. GPS, there's still 12 hours of running with GPS on it. That's pretty amazing. Uh, what is it? It's a young It's a 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 It's a